Alrighty, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the two different adapters available for the Lumix S5 or the S-Line series of cameras on, uh, on the Panasonic uh, line. And uh, we're gonna be looking at the Comlight uh, adapter, okay, and the Sigma adapter. Now, um, I originally bought the Sigma adapter thinking that, you know, that giving the L mount al alliance that that would offer the best kind of functionality between my Sigma 18 to 35. Um, and the Lumix S5. Um, and when I got it, um, you know, it seemed okay, a little bit disappointed that it didn't have um, continuous autofocus, although that's something I knew going into the purchase. But the thing that really annoyed me is that it put my uh, Sigma 18 to 35 into crop mode on the camera automatically, and it wouldn't let me change it out of um, crop mode into full frame. Now, I bought the S5 because I want full frame, and uh, for those of you who don't know, from about 25, 26 onwards on this uh, lens, so you're about 25 to 35, uh, you can actually use this on a full frame camera. And so it was making, it was rendering this um, piece of glass pretty obsolete in terms of I wanted to use it and get a full frame look from this lens, particularly at 35, because 35, 18 on this looks really good. Um, and so I was pretty annoyed because it was putting it into this crop mode and I was just like, you know what, maybe I should just buy a dumb adapter uh, and you know, I'm probably gonna manually focus everything anyway and I'll just set the aperture at 1.8 because I'm never gonna really change it. And then I started doing some research into some other adapters and I came across the Comlight adapter and there wasn't a lot of information online about it, but it was fairly cheap and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna buy this. There is a money back guarantee on a lot of the purchases you can make online these days. I thought I'll buy it, I'll use it out, and if it sucks and it's even worse than the Sigma uh, MC21, then I'll send it back and I'll just stick with the Sigma. But to my surprise, this little cheap adapter is far better, in my opinion, than the MC21. So if this is something, if this is a purchase you've been thinking about or you're just generally interested in this sort of stuff, stick around. I'm gonna break down different things from the price, okay, to the autofocus speed, to the, um, the full frame ability like I spoke about before. Um, and there is some good news and some bad news. This actually can uh, shoot in continuous autofocus in video, which is something the Sigma can't even do. So stick around, let's jump into it and get started. So, first thing we need to talk about is the prices. Uh, this Comlight adapter, uh, I got off eBay for 169 Australian dollars, um, and the Sigma MC21 was bought off eBay for 329 dollars. Now that's a significant difference there. Um, it's pretty much double the price. Um, so I didn't have high hopes going into the Comlight. Now, uh, if I have both adapters in my hand, uh, I, I'll say very much that the Comlight feels like a cheaper adapter. The MC11 feels uh, so the MC21 feels a lot more uh, premium, uh, and it's you know it's got a better finish, it's got a better click, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but that is the price. So you're looking at half the price here for potentially better features that the Sigma can't give you. I'll get into that in a second. So like I said in the intro, uh, I really wanted to find an adapter that would give me aperture control um, and you know the ability to uh, single point or autofocus if I need to, um, but also that wouldn't put this lens into its crop mode because that was particularly annoying, not allowing me to use a full frame sensor with this lens. And so um, I had read that this uh, this adapter didn't, the Comlight adapter didn't put it into full, uh, didn't put it into APS-C mode. Um, and much to my delight, it didn't, which was awesome. So it allows me to use this lens as like a 25 to sort of 35 at 1.8, um, which is very useful um, considering, you know, the in the uh, Lumix line of lenses, there's a 24 and a 35 at 1.8, and I'm pretty much getting both of those with this lens and not having to buy any other lenses, which is great. So let's get into photo use with these two uh, different adapters. Now, um, the both adapters perform pretty similar in terms of um, they're not very snappy, or they kind of do this thing uh, where um, it pretty much goes, uh, defocuses all the way, and then it comes back, which is, I believe, the uh, idea behind their autofocus system, which is the depth from defocus autofocus. So uh, pretty much half the time uh, when you're just pointing a camera at something in the mid frame, it will lock on pretty quickly, and the other half of the time it will, it will depth from defocus and then hit it 
So every time it will hit, but it is pretty slow. You wouldn't want to be shooting high action stuff with this. That being said, the com light is actually quicker. As you can see from here on the screen, from the uh, recording uh, of the shooting experience, the com light is quicker, um, which is really good. Now a pro of the Sigma MC21 in photo mode is that continuous autofocus in terms of taking stills kind of seems to work. I don't know if it's just tricking me, but it kind of seems to work. With the com light, um, it does as well, but as you're kind of holding the shutter down, like keeping it in focus, it's just constantly hunting back and forth. So, I, And then when you take a picture, generally it's in focus, so I'm thinking it's kind of working, but it's very distracting and it's probably not something that I would choose to shoot in just in case it kind of malfunctions or something like that. So that's something to be aware of if you're planning on shooting photos with these um, two different adapters. Now, the good thing is, is it does nail focus. It can always get focus. It just takes a little bit of time. So if you're doing more still uh, photography or you're doing more portrait, uh, portraiture photography, you could maybe get away with it, which is good news. Now onto video um, focus or video speeds with the two different adapters. Now, uh, the Sigma MC21 does not offer any continuous autofocus with um, in video mode. Uh, so it's just straight up, doesn't work, it's not even a feature. Now, much to my delight, uh, when I put this on and tried it, it seemed to be working. And I was looking at the screen as I was doing some tests and I could see it tracking me as I went forward. Okay, like this lens should be doing now, yep. And how I went back, excuse the lagginess, I put, I think the settings are still on very slow from testing this. Um, and I was like, sweet, the Comlight adapter works. This is an ideal result. Uh, now, what I didn't realize is once I got back to the big screen that the uh, Comlight adapter was doing a similar thing to what it does in photo mode, where it's constantly hunting back and forth in that sort of continuous mode. And it's holding focus on my eye, um, but what it is you can see in the edges, it's just wiggling in and out, in and out, rendering the footage pretty much useless. So at the end of the day, both of them don't really support continuous autofocus. The Comlight does, and hopefully in some sort of future update, that could maybe potentially fix that, but uh, due to the pulsing, it's just pretty much unusable. So um, both of them do work in a single point autofocus with video, which is really nice. So you can actually kind of point it at something, acquire focus and then start recording. So if you want to use it like that, it's it's pretty it's pretty usable and good. I will say that the Comlight seems to be a little bit better at that um, in tough lighting. So for example, with backlighting, the Sigma MC21 uh, struggled more to hit focus um, than the Comlight did. So it seems to be across all areas, the Comlight is actually coming out on top, which is a very strange result. I did not expect that at all. So the question is, is there any benefit of buying the MC1121 adapter over the Comlight uh, EF2 L mount adapter? Now, not that I can think of right now. Uh, you know, it's, it's more propri proprietary, so there could be some hidden benefit that I'm not thinking of, but to be honest, for my use case, I think I'm gonna try and sell the MC21 adapter and uh, get some money back because this adapter was half the price it allows me to shoot in full frame mode, even though it's an APS-C crop lens. Um, and the autofocus speeds, both in video and photo mode, in single point autofocus is actually a bit quicker and from my tests, a little bit more reliable than the MC21. Uh, so um, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I am stoked that I'm gonna be getting a little bit of money back, hopefully, from selling the Sigma uh, adapter and keeping the Comlight. And I'm stoked that I now get to have a 25 to 35 f1.8 on the uh, s5 at full frame in single point autofocus so thanks for tuning in today if you have any questions or anything that i didn't cover about this setup or about these adapters or anything like that please put them in the chat below um, and yeah i really appreciate your view and ask that uh if you would like to subscribe to my channel as i'm trying to uh, just dive into the s5 um, my main cameras are the S5, the X-T4 and the, and the POG 4K. So I'm hoping to actually do more content around those three cameras. So if you own one of those cameras and you're looking for more content on them, subscribe hopefully and I can deliver some of the things that you've been thinking about testing or wanting to know. Um, but other than that, have a great day and uh, thanks for your view.